like a wild and better, I say I drive up better and hear the thing them and I can suck better. The youth talk back him gun him in a full block and walk across from fictional brother. I had the youth ride past and the dad just step out from him through and yard better and fool him up better. About six him get. You see me? She prop pee prop pee prop pee prop. What they do. Welcome to Crime Time News. Now people, these streets of Jamaica, they are getting more dangerous, more dangerous. These youths, these shutters, they are getting more brazen, colder and bare face. I am speaking about an incident that occurred at a place called Waltham Park, where a man, his name is Carlos. Carlos is said to have been a painter by profession. Based on information that I got, it is said that Carlos took the day off. He said that he had a medical appointment, appointment with the doctor. However, it seems as if he had an appointment with the Grim Reaper, the doctor of D-E-A-T-H, because he was taken out in a very cold and callous way. While he was riding his bicycle on his way to his doctor's appointment, he was taken out on the spot. And he heard the eyewitness. I am going to let you hear an edited version of a video of exactly what transpired and then I'll give my piece. Now people, you heard the first voice notes and then the edited version of the video. Eyewitness on the spot. The man told you in a voice note. The man walk out full black alliance style. Blaze him up at least six piece. Take for himself, walk gone like nothing happened. The next man surprised. I couldn't the elder the people them take for like that. People, we should not be surprised. Because the way that Jamaica is going nowadays, like me tell you. We are all, everybody is an equal opportunity target. Anybody can get it anytime. So people, like me say, these shutters, they don't care. They have no regards for life. And even worse, even when you are D-E-A-D, they just don't respect the D-E-A-D. They will take you away when you are alive. And they'll go to your final send-off. And they are going to create even more chaos and catastrophe. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called Bareface, Brawling, Brazen. These criminals, them now have no shame. I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Portland Cottage. Portland Cottage is in Clarendon. Based on the Popo report, it is said that about 2.10 p.m. A convoy of vehicles, Pahero, Probox and other cars roll up on a fishing spot, a bar. It is said that all of the men alighted from the vehicle. All of the men were wearing civilian clothes. However, all of the men had on bulletproof vests with popo written on it. It is said that they said that they were the popo. They were acting like the popo. Them have all sorts of tall rifle, all sorts of handgun. Stick it up, everybody down, nobody move. It is said that they went specifically for a 34-year-old fisherman. They robbed the fisherman of his personal belongings. The fisherman also had a wish motor car. They took that motor vehicle along with the convoys of their vehicle. Them kidnap, abduct the fisherman, put all sorts of blindfold round him eye, put him at the pahero, drive off. However, it is said that a pro box that they were driving had some sorts of flat. Them abandoned the pro box. However, they left with the fisherman's Toyota Wish. Now, people, when we hear this, this has set up written all over it. Is this some sort of inside job? And I am going to explain. When we think about Clarendon, 
it is one of those places that have a history of all sorts of D-R-U-G-S, cocoa and weed being transported, marketed through there. A lot of times these fishermen, them find all sorts of goodies, meaning packages of birds, meaning cocoa, upon the sea. However, as soon as word gets around, the popo, their antennas go up. The thief, the pirates of the Caribbean, them want to know who have it and where it is. And then them running like some sorts of stick-up kid. People, I was not there. I cannot say with 100% surety that that is the case. However, the next possible thing is that, like the Popo report said, when them stick up this 34-year-old fisherman, he also had a wish, which is one of those seven-seaters that belong to his family member. So people, is this a case where the fisherman pretty much planned, plot, conspired with these other people for thief him family vehicle? Or is it a case where the fisherman made some sorts of arrangement, tell somebody that was coming to buy something from him, that he was going to be at XYZ location, so therefore meet him there. However, the people that he was conducting business with on the phone, then pretty much set him up, send somebody, send the boys, them, whether it is the boys in blues or the other people, them, we are speaking about the fraudulent popo. Now people, truth be told, when I listen to this story, something sounds very fishy. Something sounds like something is into something. Something sounds like somebody is not being 100% rightful or righteous or truthful. Because here it is, a convoy, a vehicle, roll up, take away one man, blindfold him, throw him in the pahira, drive off with him, and then down the road, them fling him out upon him face. What happened? They lost interest. Was what they looking for in the wish motor vehicle? Or was it a case that them pretty much wanted the wish motor vehicle and they used some sorts of psychs? Also based on information, it is said that further checks reveal that the pro box in which they abandoned that got some sorts of flats, it was stolen from St. Catherine. So people, is this a fair trade? Meaning that the pro box left and then the wish taken a case of Fair trade is no sort of robbery. People like me say, me not really know. However, whenever I see things or hear anything, I do not just take it for face value because people, people are very tricky nowadays. You can't trust nobody, even the family members, point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, people, the lens that these criminals go to hide their victims. It does not make a whole lot of sense, but they put in a whole lot of effort to do a whole lot of F-U-C-K-R-Y. If you look at your screen, this lady, she was missing for a couple of days. She was found in a place called Greenvale that is in Manchester. There are a couple of videos and I am going to put them in my WhatsApp group. In these videos, I could not say what happened Unless I was told that she was hidden, the body was hidden under some sorts of log, under some sorts of shrub, under some sorts of tree trunk. Because people, I thought that the tree fall down, the tree get rotten and fall down upon her. I would not expect that criminals would actually go through the lens of putting some big old tree trunk. It looked like them use some sort of crane, some sort of heavy lifting um, contraption and lift up the tree them and put on top of R. I don't see four or five or six man lifting up these big old logs that I saw. However, it seems as if the body was hidden under there, whether it was stuffed between the logs or whether somebody put her there and then put the log them upon her. I think that the logs were probably there and then they stuff the body in the logs them and then put the shrubs them round it. However, the body was missing for a couple of days or she was missing for a couple of days and then they found the body in a some bad decomposing situation. However, people, based on information that I am now getting, based on what the neighbors are saying, 
her and the boyfriend had some sorts of arguments maybe about three to four days ago. So people we know say when the time is hot and anybody gets taken out, after three or four days the body is in a bad state of decomposition. So people obviously we know who the suspect is. Obviously we know who is going to be the person of interest and people once again we see that this very disturbing trend it continues as it pertains to people in all sorts of domestic fight, domestic squabble, domestic this, domestic that. It never usually ends up good. So the moral of the story is this. If you are not compatible with this person, whenever you start to see the signs in which it starts to get abusive, all sorts of argument, they turn physical, all sorts of kitchen utensils like get drawn, all sorts of D-E-A-T-H, threats are being made. It know that you know that it is time for you to exit stage left point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up